campers. Can I call you campers? I mean, you're not here camping with me, but you're pretending to camp every week with us at Kids Crossing Camp. I'm Miss Manny and Miss Tammy is supposed to be here, but she took a really long hike and she's on her way here. So while we wait for her, I'm gonna pray for you really quick. God, I thank you for each and every person that's watching this right now. I ask that you open our minds and our hearts to receive your message today. I ask that you be with each and every one of them as they go through their week, as they're out in the world doing stuff, protect them, watch over them, keep them safe, happy, and healthy. And we thank you. We thank you that you sent your son Jesus as a sacrifice for us. And in his name we pray, amen. Okay, boys and girls, while we wait for Miss Tammy, I am gonna play her one of her favorite songs. And it's called, I Have Decided. And I have decided, and I know she has decided. And if you have decided to follow Jesus, we're singing this song with you. So if everybody's ready, let's start our video. you're back and Miss Tammy still isn't well I'll show you what we were gonna show you together which is we sent you all pipe cleaners in the mail if you get our weekly mailers you got a pipe cleaner from us and I know it kind of seems boring it's like not really anything just a straight thing but if you have an imagination and I know lots of you do you could turn it into something pretty cool just like I did I made mine into a cross and did you hear that sound what is that? Oh, it's Sully the Squirrel. Sully, did you bring me another nut? Let me see that. Go ahead and have a seat, Sully. Oh, oh, it's a question. Sarah wants to know, does God have friends? That is such a good question, Sarah. Yes, God has friends. It says in the Bible that Abraham was his friend. Specifically, it says Abraham was God's friend. and. 
Jesus, when he was here on earth, had lots of friends too. And he told us in the New Testament that if we follow his commands, which are to love God and love people, then we're his friends too. It's so awesome. Speaking of friends, actually, Sully, did you see Miss Tammy? <gasps> Short hair, yay high, smiles all the time. No, nothing? No, do you? No, not a nut, Sully. I was wondering where Miss Tammy's at. Oh, you, <gasps> Sully has a question. Sully wants to know, why was Jesus called the Lamb of God? Sully, have you been reading your Bible? It says in quite a few places in the Bible, actually, that Jesus was the Lamb of God. And if you don't know what that means, it can seem kind of weird, so I'll tell you. So way a long time ago, back when Adam and Eve were in the Garden of Eden and they first sinned, God later promised that he was going to send someone to take the punishment for their sins and every other sin beyond that. And sin just means doing bad things. But until then, people made sacrifices. And what that basically was, was they would kill small animals like lambs. And they would hurt them and it just, they would do it kind of trying to say that they were sorry and to make things better in a way, kind of like forgiveness. But it didn't cover up sins forever. It only covered them up for a little while. And it sometimes was a lamb. It wasn't always a lamb. And it was so, so sad that this happened all the time. And that's eventually why Jesus came. We have Jesus as our ultimate sacrifice. He came so that nothing had to die. No one had to die anymore for anyone's sins. He was the Lamb of God that God sent to sacrifice for our sins. It's so awesome, boys and girls. And you know what? Lambs are baby sheep. And this lamb talk reminds me of our story about sheep. So we're gonna go ahead and play that. And Sully, can you help me find Miss Tammy? We're gonna try and find Miss Tammy. Stories of the Bible, the lost sheep. This is Jesus. hey -o who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. Jesus taught everyone about God's love, all kinds of people would come to hear Jesus speak, including tax collectors and people who made bad choices. This made the Pharisees and Jewish leaders mad. Ugh, yuck. They didn't think that Jesus should be around these kind of people. Hmm. So Jesus told them this story. If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them gets lost, uh, hmm. What will he do? Who stay here? Won't he leave the 99 others and go to search for the one that is lost until he finds it? And when he's found it, hey, he will joyfully carry it home. When he gets home, he will call together his friends and neighbors, saying, Oh, everyone, come here, come here! Celebrate with me, because I have found my lost sheep. Yeah! In the same way, there is more joy in heaven over one lost sinner who returns to God than over 99 others who haven't strayed away. Boys and girls, I'm starting to get really worried. I cannot find Miss Tammy and I'm almost starting to get sad. And one of the things that we're supposed to do when we're sad is we're supposed to read God's word. So if you wanna read with me, I'm gonna read out of John chapter one, and I'm gonna read verse 29. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. You know what? I remember Miss Tammy told me that if we ever get lost, to whistle for each other. So I'm gonna try to whistle for her and see if she comes. So 
On the count of three, one, two, three. What, 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 Manny? Miss Tammy? Uh, I'm right here. I oh was like sleeping. Oh, that was such a huge hike I went on. I've been asleep. That's right. I was just telling the kids about the lost sheep, and here I thought you were lost in the wilderness. You know, I wasn't lost in the wilderness. It was a great hike. But Manny, there was a time I was lost, and that was before Jesus. But I found Jesus, he found me, and now I know no matter where I am, even if I get lost, he's with me. I'm not lost forever. That's true, and I felt the same way. And boys and girls, in that story, we're all the lost sheep at some point in our lives, whether it's now when, we're, when you guys are little or when you become adults and you get older, we're all the lost sheep in that story at some point. But what I love about that story is that Jesus is telling us that if we're not by his side, he's looking for us. Like we were looking for you. I had Sully looking for you, Miss Tammy. Oh, that's so nice, Manny. Thanks for caring for me. But boys and girls, you know what? We have wonderful friends and we have family that love us and care for us. But the most important thing is knowing that Jesus loves us and cares for us. And that no matter what happens to us, when we've trusted him, he will be with us and we're lost no more. No matter who you are, no matter what you've done or been done to you, he's going to find you. In fact, right now we could pray to close and we could pray to ask him to find us right now. Boys and girls, if you wanna join me, you could pray something like this. Jesus, thank you that we are never far from your sight but we wander off and you pursue us. You chase after us. God, you love us so much. You don't want anybody to be without you. And I'm thankful for the time you showed me and I was able to say, Jesus, thank you for finding me. I love you. Be my savior and my leader. And boys and girls right now, Jesus could be your savior and your leader. You could pray something like this. Jesus, I'm so sorry that I do things that are wrong. Will you forgive me? Will you help me to know that you love me and that I will never be lost from you and that I will live forever with you? I believe you are God. I believe you came to rescue me and I trust you. Come and live in my life, Jesus. Thank you for finding me. In your name, amen. That's amen. a beautiful prayer. And boys and girls, if you prayed something like that, we want to hear from you. We want to know that you prayed that prayer to trust Jesus and to be found by him. And you can text this number right here because we have something we want to give you. Yes. And if you don't get our weekly mailers, text that number too, because we can add you to the list where we send mail out to kids every week. And if you have questions for us that you want us to answer in camp, let us know at that number too, okay? Let's show them the number one more time, Miss Manny. This number right here, okay? All right, boys and girls, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Glad you were here. Bye-bye. Shake, shake, some things break, break You are my rock, my